just started clearing the bramble from the top layers and there's this weird phenomenon I keep finding on my land. These massive holes and I can't tell what is making them. They're just fucking huge. Like, I can fit my fist in that. That's a big hole. I've seen smaller ones that tarantulas live in. I just picked up my gloves and shook out a baby scorpion. Like, nature is aggressive in these parts. Hi everyone. Welcome to my video on human manure and composting in general. It's incredible how simple it is to dispose of human waste on your own property safely. That's what we're doing today. Let's go check it out. I did Google about spiders in Mexico and unlike Australia, not many of them can kill you. So I'm just gonna take those odds and, and yeah, oh God, and hopefully just not die. That'd be great. The corner of my land is just here. So we're like a meter from it. But yeah, I'm gonna flatten an area here for compost, which honestly, I'm gonna do it here initially, but then I probably will build up closer to the edge of the land later on. Just because once I have eight villas here producing human manure, I'm gonna be like, this needs to be like an industrial kind of situation. And then I'll also put the, uh, the fruit and veg compost here. And then up here, I'm gonna put chickens, I think. Chickens are gonna smell more than the compost. I'm so excited for this. So yeah, definitely check out that video. So you're probably wondering, where does Nick catch all this crap to be <laughs> composted in my composting toilet? So it's very squishy in here, so I'm doing my best. So, looks kind of like a little regular toilet. It's got a top, it's got a flush button on the side, and basically your composting toilet separates poop from wee. And that's important because you don't want your solids to be too wet, otherwise they won't compost properly. But how it does is you literally always have to sit, you can't stand on a composting toilet, uh, stand to pee, sorry guys but you can sit. And so basically you sit when you're ready to poop, you pull the lever, the door opens, you do your business, you shut it, you get up. <clears throat> and then for pee, you always spray it with a little bit of water. I always put a little bit of antibacterial in mine. Five squirts in the front. And then, and then you shut it. And then the little button on the side here and then that starts the bottom grinding. Pick off the front compartment here, you can actually see what's going on. So, in here, I have my bucket at the back, which captures the solid waste. And then this pipe at the front is where my urine and liquid waste will drain. I also have this little catcher here. This isn't the best quality toilet, it's an Ogo brand. I bought it off Amazon. It's designed for RVs. So you can get about two weeks of waste in your solid container for one person. And you can get about a week in your liquids container. I actually don't have my liquids container installed because I plumbed mine to come out of the building because emptying a jug once a week is a pain in the ass. <clears throat> So, it does have a little fan that runs 24-7. That pipe comes out up here. Can you see that up here? It's really hard to see, but it runs here. You can see it. Basically, that constantly runs to keep the solids container mostly dry, eliminating smell. So, a composting toilet doesn't actually smell. Despite all my crap sitting there in that toilet and that little bucket, no smell. And then the solids waste comes out of this hose here and then it drains into these buckets where it gets mixed with other grey water. You can put uh, pee straight onto your garden. Obviously though, it does need to be diluted. 
that's why mine mixes in with my regular grey water. It's about a solution of 10 parts regular water to one part pee. That's where my laundry drains to as well, so it gets quite diluted. Eventually, I will get a bigger 1,000 litre tank for my grey uh, water, so when I'm watering the entire property, that's where that will go. <laughs> So we've got stairs coming down, stairs inverted commas, and then we have two little level areas here, one here for organic and more also organic but the poop one here. It's very rough and ready but you know. And then if we come up the stairs to this mezzanine. Here is where chickies will eventually be. So I need to honestly design what their coop is gonna look like because after years of having chickens, I've learnt a few things. You wanna be able to remove their droppings board where they sleep overnight. So they sleep on a roost overnight, that little bar, and then the poop drops down onto a board, but they just, that gets like high with poops. So that needs to be easily removable. Um, and then yeah, like they need their little egg hutch and just a spot where they can be at night and safe. So, but then they'll roam around this lovely property to forage for their food during the days. It'll be fun. So now that we have the spot for the poop containers to be, we need to make, well the compost containers, we need to make the compost containers. I bought these grey containers right here. Um, I bought five of them for my water lilies because I thought, oh yeah, that'll be a great thing to keep them in. Unbeknownst to me, they needed a lot bigger containers, hence these ones. So, I got two spare grey containers. And we're going to put some holes in them for air because we're doing anaerobic composting for the poop and the other one anaerobic means you're using air um and yeah we'll put some holes in the side and see how that goes as you can see lots in there for all of that anaerobic composting and let's see <laughs> There we go. Oh, okay. Cool. So now that I've got my containers, it's time to get the poo. Literally. <laughs> If you've done the math, I've been here just over six weeks, which means my toilet only carries two weeks of poop. I have six weeks of poop already on my property, not composting. It's very naughty, but I did dig it into the earth in one specific spot so that I could then later dig it up and then we could put it into the correct composting situation. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So this is the location here. Right here is where we're going to be digging up all of that poop. If you're using a shovel with human waste, you should only ever use that shovel with human waste unless you're going to really, really thoroughly sanitize it. Easier just to buy a second shovel. The reason it's bad to put your human waste into the earth is not because it won't compost correctly. 
It's because you have the possibility of that biomass leaking into the groundwater and polluting the local area. This has only been in here for six weeks and we haven't had any rain. Also, I spoke with all of my neighbors and no one is using a ground well. Everyone is using above ground cisterns or in ground cisterns and they get that filled regularly by a truck or a peeper. Let's get to digging. The poops may be small, but oh my God, they are heavy. Ugh. I never realized how dense a human poop could be. This is insane. Am I, am I eating bricks? Am I literally shitting bricks? Now, not for the squeamish, I'm gonna show you what's happened. Only the first layer actually had a little bit of smell. The other layers are already quite warm and have started to decompose. So they don't even look like poo anymore. Have a look. It kind of just looks like earth. Here is some of the matter that I've been composting. Okay, well, here she is in her final resting place. Well, for the next year or two. Um, yeah. I can't smell a thing, so I'm very happy with that. Didn't want to be smelling poop. And yeah, really important, you want to have a lid that can go on that attaches quite firmly. It doesn't need to be like sealed on unless I'm getting like problems with animals, which I shouldn't because this doesn't smell. But it's mainly to stop rain getting in. Again, this overhang will stop any rain coming in from the sides. Easy. Let's start with the vegetable scraps. You may remember from a previous video that my compost heap, here's the front door, is in this general vicinity. I'm gonna go around and pick up as many banana peels and avocado seeds as I can. So not surprisingly, it was difficult to find any of the scraps. A, because we do have dogs that are not kept in their own properties around here, so they tend to be like little vacuum cleaners. But I was able to find some tortillas, wait, I can't even see, yeah, some tortillas that I threw out, a couple of avocado skins and one banana skin. It's crazy how quickly stuff decomposes. Um, so yeah, let's take this over and get it composting. So a really important part of composting human waste is to make sure that you layer it correctly. Otherwise you will end up with smell and that is what you definitely don't want. My chosen composting medium for the carbon part is cocoa core, which is basically shredded up coconut husks. Being on the ocean, this is perfect. I got this entire bag for about 5,000 pesos, which is 25 US dollars. Excellent value. And so all you're gonna do is add in a layer of this in the very bottom, and then you can put in your poop. And then once you've added in the amount of poop that you're adding for that moment, you then put another layer of cocoa core on top. That seals in any moisture and the air holes around the side will help it dry out. And there you have it, two compost bins on the way. It's unbelievably easy to do this. I did this in literally a few hours. So do your part and try and get your home to be a permaculture home. No waste out. I don't even know if that's correct, but yeah, this was super fun. The Pacific coast of Oaxaca. Find your escape.